We've received information that prior to January 6, Capitol Police officers were not trained on how to respond to an infiltration of the Capitol building. Is that tr correct, Mr. Sund? When you talk about infiltration, you talk about a large insurrection like we saw on the January 6, no. I see um, Senator Rosen, would you like to go ahead? Because you're the first member on, Senator Rosen. Um, are all Capitol Police officers outfitted with riot gear? No, they're not, sir. They're not. And, and why are they not? Okay, we'll have you talk to them about that later. Senator Warner uh, has arrived via video. We, we outfit a number of our, we have seven CDU platoons that we can activate. Four of those platoons, it's 40 people in a platoon, are activated to what we call the level one, the full CDU uh, gear and equipment. Uh, it requires extensive uh, cost, extensive training to keep that and keep and maintain that level. For us, a number of our officers are posted in interior posts, screening posts, things like that, where they, you know, that gear wouldn't do them any suffice, you know, wouldn't provide them any support. Uh, so we have determined up till January 6th that that number of CDU platoons had sufficed for all the demonstrations that we had been dealing with on Capitol Hill. Yeah, Sunday, I would just say, you know, obviously those officers who you say had interior posts needed it that day. Uh, so it's not accurate to say that they didn't need it. Uh, but I know that you activated seven of these civil disper dis disperse, dis civil disturbance unit platoons. And uh, then only four of them had riot gear. Um, I, I don't know why you would have a civil disturbance unit platoon that didn't have riot gear. Um, but you, you've just testified that that's true, that only four of them had it, is that correct? Th that is correct. And just one additional point, since I've been chief, uh, I've actually pushed for every member in the department to, to have riot helmets. Uh, I had ordered those back in September. That we had been looking at delays because of COVID from the manufacturer getting them delivered, and they actually just started being delivered January 4th and distributed to our officers uh, just days before this, with limited limited numbers being given to the officers prior to this event. Yeah, too too late for for many of those officers. Yes, I think we I think we certainly uh, should. Um, we yeah, I I think the the bottom line here is that unfortunately our officers were not given the proper training with regard to infiltration of the building or the complex, with regard to dealing um, with civil disturbance, and, and they didn't have the equipment necessary to push back <clears throat> and, most importantly, to protect themselves. So my hope is that, again, one of the ways that this joint hearing and this committee report can be helpful is to bring the Capitol Police Department up to speed. Um, and look, I appreciate the sacrifice and the bravery of that day, but I think we also owe it to those officers to provide them the training and the equipment they need to protect themselves and to protect the Capitol. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.